Oh man, the desk minimalist guys are gonna love this one. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm DMS, you're watching The Headphone Show, and today I'm gonna talk to you about the Wu WA7E, Wu's newest entrance into the electrostatic energizer amplifier line, small form factor DAC amp made to power things like stacks or other electrostatic headphones. Now, this is a little bit different from your regular amp, of course, as I'm sure you can tell by the front, it's also operating at a considerably higher voltage out that plug. You're not gonna be plugging this thing up to your regular old Hyphemans or your Odysseys. Well, unless you got this guy right here, that's a Hyphen that's an electrostat, or I guess Odyssey makes an electrostat now too in the carbon. Let's start off with build. And we've seen this form factor before in the WA7 Fireflies, one that had a single-ended quarter-inch output and a balanced option at 4.4, but that is for normal headphones, not electrostats. This, well, it may look the same on the outside, but on the inside, it's a new beast. We have USB in for a DAC. We also have RCA in if you want to use that and use your own DAC with it, but there is the options to use this as a preamp output with a balanced output if you want to use it with, say, another amplifier. On the front, fairly simple. We have our normal electrostat connector there and a volume knob. Power switch on the back, some nice pretty tubes on top that you can technically swap out if you want. And Lord, it is heavy. It's smaller than something like a Mac Mini, so it takes up basically no footprint on the desk. You can use it with a phone, a laptop, desktop, whatever. I will admit, I've always liked this form factor. I mean, I do have a giant DAC and a giant amp on my desk, and there are times when I'm like, wow, I wish this would take up a lot less space. Some of you might buy a DAC and amp for how it looks, that's cool. If so, your decision's probably already made, but I am here to talk about how it sounds. So compared to other Energizers, how does it hold up? Well, one of the Energizers I have at home is the one that comes with the Stax L300. Plenty of juice, but lackluster in sound by many accounts. I used my L300s as well as right here behind me, this is the Hyphenman Shangri-La Jr. I tried it both on my Stax amp as well as on the WA7E. And across the board, I actually, no surprise, liked the WA7E a lot more. I'm already a bit of a tube person. I like the sound that a lot of tubes have. They had an interesting characteristic but they also bring something interesting to an electrostat. A lot of e-stats, in my personal opinion, can have a bit of a lifeless feel, though being very detailed, very fast, having good impact and things of that nature, they've always missed something that I'm looking for. And this brings it a lot closer to that. I mean, truth be told, I don't actually like the Shangri-La Jr. at all, but on this Energizer, I found myself actually listening to it and enjoying it. I noted similar improvements with my Stax L300. Things are just a bit more flavored, a bit more exciting, a bit more lifelike, and I also got a bit more stage. Now, I don't feel like detail was necessarily on a higher level, but I do feel like there was less congestion, less of everything being shoved together. And while I know tubes technically are adding a bit of flavor to the music, well, quite like that, especially considering a lot of these electrostats are already flavored in their own way anyways. Now I did note different changes with both headphones. With the Hyphen Shangri-La Jr., I got more bass out of them, which was interesting. I actually didn't expect that. And the top end was a little bit more mellow, which the top end on that headphone definitely needs to be a little bit more mellow. With the L300, which is already a very vocal focus headphone, well, that vocal focus got a bit better timbre, a little bit more lifelike and a bit less shout. One thing that is important to note though, while it might seem all like roses and candy and everything sweet, you're not gonna be driving super hard to drive e-stats on this. Things like the new DCA Carina, well, you're gonna need something with a little bit more juice to bring that to life. And I noticed that if I was using EQ with either the Shangri-La Jr. or my stacks, well, I started getting up there a good bit in volume because with an EQ, I had to pull down the input volume just a hair to give some headroom, taking away from the headroom I had left on the amp. I'm not a loud listener by any means. And if you're not using EQ and you're using a pretty standard, easy to drive e-stat like the L300 or the L700, well, it's fine. You can get the volume up there for more than what is plenty enough for my ears, though there might be some listeners out there who crave a bit more um, ear obliteration. 
Some people like listening really, really, really absurdly loud. I'm just not one of them. Like many other tube amps, I did notice this one was sensitive to the power it's plugged into. And what I mean by that is there's an outlet in my house that if I plug any tube amp into it, it'll start buzzing. I hear 60 cycles. If I plug in any solid state amps there, it's fine. So I had to find the right outlet where I wasn't picking up any of that electrical noise in my house. I do the same song and dance with every tube amp, but it's worth noting that this one is no exception. And the same goes for using it with my PC. Well, if you have a crappy power supply in your PC and a lot of noise goes out through those USB ports, you're gonna hear that noise in your headphones. So if I was playing Cyberpunk 2077, my GPU is cranked, uh, I'm gonna hear some weird noises. Almost like GPU coil wine is making its way through my Mobo and into my headphone. But if you have a good power supply, that shouldn't be a problem. I particularly know the difference between my rig and another rig in my house. My normal rig, it's fine. I don't get any of that noise. But the other rig, well, it all comes through crystal clear, even on the same outlet. We really boil it all down. Here's the thing. It's not cheap, but it is a DAC and an energizer. Tube energizers are not super common, and ones in this small of a form factor with a DAC built in are virtually non-existent. The WA7E fills a very specific need and a very specific niche of audiophiles with e-stats who want a small form factor and a tube, but it pretty much nails all of those things. And hopefully this video helped you decide if it is what's right for you or not. As for me, well, I'm gonna go back to listening to my EQ'd L300s and kick back, take it easy. And that Shangri-La Jr., I am sending that back to Resolve. Anyway, I think that is going to wrap up this video, guys. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Comment letting me know what you want to see in the future from us. If you want to get active in the community, you can have the forums or Discord, both linked in the video description. As always, don't forget to stick around and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next one, guys. Peace.